This is the Tier 7 Annihilator, a tank you can get if you can get to level 45 in the Way of the Rider event that is currently ongoing for the next 14 days. Admittedly, to get to level 45, it's pretty difficult unless you drop some cash and buy the Pyroleum trailer, but is this tank actually worth it? Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to be looking at this tank, the Annihilator. It's a tier 7 hybrid nation tank. Now you can't get your paws on this unless you do the Way of the Rider event. Which, because this tank sits at level 45, also means you need to drop $10 to get that Pyroleum trailer. But is this tank actually worth it? Well, in a word, yeah. Okay, they had a mixed bag from some of the testers and some of the others. Some say it's OP, some say it's poor. I don't think it's either. I think this is a great little tank and I don't think it's OP. I think it's a very powerful beast. Yes, I do. Why don't I think it's OP? Well, this thing struggles with its penetration, especially when it starts facing off against its tier 8 counterparts. Why do I think it's a good tank? Well, this thing can hold its own against a smasher. Yep, you heard me correctly. This thing will actually be able to compete against the smasher. That, in my book, makes it a really good tank. I think it's great. It's unique. It's got, uh, it's, it's a triple barrel gun. So think of the housing, but think of, well, a better tank. It, okay, it hasn't got the speed. Um, it hasn't got great armor on its hull or on its side. We'll get to that later. But it has got a phenomenal gun. And if you play this tank correctly, you will have oodles of fun in it. I mean, I've had loads of fun in it. I love this tank. I think it's fantastic. And it's not a tank that I'll play once after I've got the event or a couple of times and then put it away and let it collect dust. Because this tank really is fun to play. I mean, it, it's, we'll get into all the stats in a moment, but it's a very, very nice tank indeed. So let's have a look at those more detailed stats. HP-wise, well, it's not too bad. View range, really good. DPM, brilliant. Now that's your standard AP. Stick in the APCR, then the penetration goes up and the DPM is really good. The penetration on this thing, however, does struggle. It does dish out reasonable damage. It says they're not really, but you've got burst damage of 630 on your standard AP and around 570 on your APCR. Gun depression, well, it's a mere 8 degrees. Speed, well, it's not too bad, but it ain't that brilliant. That's what the armor profile looks like according to Blitzhanger. Um, when I did this video, unfortunately, neither Blitzhanger or armor profile had the gun mounted. As you can see there, they say it's good in a one-on-one -on -one brawl. Looking at it in Armour Inspector, well, that's what the render looks like. And it's a pretty cool looking tank. It's pretty funky. And as you can see with the armour profile here, the front mantle is pretty rock solid. But that's about it. You will get bounces off it from that upper glacius plate and every now and then on the turret. But what's this tank like to play? Well, a couple of things you need to know about this tank. Firstly, the consumables that it brings are, you've got that extra duper, super duper speed boost, which is fantastic and this tank needs it. But the main thing going for this tank is that gun. You press the fire button, three shells come out of your barrel. It is brilliant. It is so much fun. Watch this on the smasher. You know, 637, side of a smasher, boom. And this is what I'm saying. This thing will compete against a smasher. The armor, as I said, it's pretty meh, hull down, but if you face hook and one 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 brawl, wow, this is really good. I mean, watch this. I'm going to bounce the SU here, and he's got a good gun with relatively okay as pen, but face hooking it, he ain't going to have a hoping house chance against that mantlet. And this is why I like the tank. It's a brawler. It's got a good gun. Downsides to the tank, as I said, it's got pretty poor pen. It does struggle against tier 8 tanks, especially tanks like the E75TS, 
where it really does struggle to pen even on its APCR. It's got a very long reload. Uh, why not? I mean, this thing's got three shells. It's gonna be a long reload. It's not exactly fast, and it hasn't really got a good camo profile, but it's a fun tank. It looks cool, it's fun to play, and it's something different. Now, you will see in this game that it can hold its own, and I love that about this tank. Okay, it's gonna hold its own against a tier six now and a tier seven, but you can do some really nice damage in it. I've been averaging about 2.8 K in this tank, so it's not like your damage is low. If you play your cards right, you should be averaging 2,500 damage in this thing quite easily without breaking a sweat. Don't stick it too far on the front line. One-on-one -on -one brawling is good. Being on the front line against some of the heavies, not so good because everything can pen that bottom plate and and your sides and if they stick in APCR they'll pen your turret pretty difficult to pen the mantlet but hey you know at the end of the day if they if it was solid armored etc etc it would in fact be a broken tank but as I said I don't think it is broken I don't think it's OP I just think it's powerful and like I said earlier the reason I don't think it's OP because it doesn't have the best armor it doesn't have the best penetration it doesn't have the best mobility and it has a long reload i mean it's a long long reload you're loading three shells into one barrel it's not a magazine as such but what you do get and it's not like an auto loader uh, it's, it, it, again it's like the housing so you've got to remember with an auto loader you press the fire button every time you want to fire a shell with the housing, same as this, you press the fire button once, three shells will come out of the barrel. And boy, does it cause a lot of pain. I mean, here I've already done 3,537 damage. I've only bounced 780. I've lost a lot of hit points because the T-71 and the uh, Hellcat there have been sort of taking their toll on me. But I've enjoyed playing this tank. I really have. It's put a massive smile on my face. And, you know, for all of those out there who bemoan the Smasher, you've now got a tank that really can compete against a Smasher. This thing will slice through a Smasher. Okay? Not only that, you get up close and personal, you will bounce the Smasher. Seriously, I'm not joking. I've tried it. So, this, this one is a freebie. This isn't a, a Smasher in crates. This isn't anything like that. This is, for all intents and purposes, a tank that is gonna cost you $10. And if you don't have this in your garage, then, you know, more for you, because you will love it. I know I do. But again, it's choice. You may not like this type of tank. A lot of people don't like the fantasy tanks. I get that, but look at what you're getting. You're getting something unique, and it's not gonna cost you a lot. $10 will unlock 30 of those. Uh, we'll get you a pyro pyroleum trailer, which unlocks 30 of the levels. And that gets you up there near his damn it. You've then just got to play the game, basically, and you'll get this tank. And th talking about the Where the Rider event, don't forget, you get two tanks, really. You get the spike as well. Now, I tried and tried and tried to get a mastery in this thing. But clearly the testers and the other people out there, the reviewers, have played this thing quite hard. And, well, I just couldn't get it. First class was all I could get. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this game. This is me going out on the Wargaming live stream the other day where they discussed this tank and this event, trying to challenge Blitzstick into doing more damage here on Rockfield. Now... Seriously, I do love this tank. I'm not overemphasizing that. I'm not trying to sort of sell you a dead donkey here, guys. If the tank is naff, I will say the tank is rubbish. This is far from rubbish. I mean, it is just oodles and oodles of fun. And in this game, I get slightly lucky and I actually beat Blitzstick, which really made me happy, especially when there were so many people watching. I mean, imagine how bad it would have been and I have done no damage 
all got wrecked in the first two seconds. Boy, that would have been embarrassing. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my look at the Annihilator, the Tier 7 hybrid nation tank that you can now get as part of the Way of the Rider event. It is worth it, guys. Yeah, you've got to drop $10, but seriously, for everything you get in this event, $10 realistically is worth it. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, guys, ring them across to me, fujitblitz at gmail.com. If you've got this tank, let me know your thoughts on it. I mean, I love it, as I said, but maybe you don't. Maybe you see something different. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, you can press subscribe. Beautiful thing to do. Costs you nothing. Um, I'd like to say a big thank you to my YouTube members and my patrons. Without you, these videos are pretty difficult. And to you, my subscribers, because without you, these videos are utterly meaningless. And until the next time, I will say my usual thing. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. That is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.